Welcome back into Victoria's Tarot. Today we're going to check in on the Jocelyn Smith. Past, present, and future energy for Jocelyn Smith. Past, present, and future energy for Jocelyn Smith. Three of Swords in the upright talks about the heartbreak, loss, and separation. Seven of Cups in the upright in the present moment talks about the choices, illusion, confusion. A lot of confusion in the present moment. In the future, there's the Two of Swords, which talks about blind choices or weighing your options. This could be two people. Weighing their options or they made some blind choices. That caused confusion and heartbreak. Ten of Swords in the upright. That is the ultimate betrayal. In the past position for Jocelyn Smith. Judgment. Whoever betrayed her, they are like ignoring it. They're not taking accountability for whatever happened. There's a two again. Two of Wands in the upright tells us about planning. Somebody's planning. Two people are planning something. Six of cups in the reverse. Unable to move on. She's talking about these two people and their choices. This confusion they're causing. And she's unable to move on. The chariot in the upright tells us about control, action, and determination. Ace of swords in the upright talks about mental clarity and truth. These two people, they're in control of the truth is how I'm reading that. So, multiple people are arrested, but they're the two main factors is what she's pointing out. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Needy, overly sensitive, insecure, unsupportive. I'm assuming she's talking about her mother. Ten of Cups in the reverse tells us about an unhappy home or domestic conflict. Seven of Swords in the upright tells us about that liar, cheater, thief. The two. The two. The liar, the cheater, the thief. I feel like there are two left out. This thief is holding on to the five swords and there's two left behind. These two took the fall for whatever happened next is what I'm getting. Five are caught, but there are two more people involved, I feel like. And these two people are the only people left with the truth. There's more than five involved. Five are grabbed, two are left behind. King of Cups in the reverse tells us about that cold, anxious, repressed, manipulative, selfish energy. That would be her partner. Four of Wands in the reverse tells us about home conflict or being unwelcome. When it comes to him, Jocelyn is saying he wasn't somebody that was welcome there. She doesn't like him. She doesn't like her mom too much either. Four of Cups in the reverse tells us about choosing happiness or depression. Depression. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse tells us about a lack of reward. So I'm feeling like here because I'm asking Jocelyn. This is Jocelyn's past, present, and future energy. In this present energy, it almost feels like she wanted to run away. We had this planning to leave somewhere, like going somewhere and then depression. Or either she's trying to show me these two people because they didn't want to deal with her. Maybe she was causing them depression because they couldn't do the, sh the shit that they do. And she didn't want to go. Nine of Wands in the reverse talks about the wounded warrior, the ongoing battles, and in reverse, 
this person is defensive and they are refusing to compromise. Eight of Cups, walking away or abandonment. Yep. This liar, cheater, thief left two people behind. Five wrapped up and there's two people behind. They escaped. So more than five are involved in this. So the thing is, did she sell them? Bottom of the deck, manipulating the truth. Did she sell Jocelyn to people who she probably owed money to? Are they holding it over her head some type of way? There are two extra people out there that knows exactly what's going on with this case. And it makes me wonder, is that why now they are refusing to get bail from jail? Like, why are you so scared to get out? It can't just be the people in the public. You can go hide from them. But if it seems like you're hiding from somebody you know can get to you. So that's what I have. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.